thank you for contacting Wave Support. I see from, from your request that you're struggling with some operating on the cornea from wearing these new RGP buttons that you've designed. Well, if we take a look at them, uh, obviously you're going to be a little bit more advanced with these keratoconus. And uh, from my understanding, you're going to have some trouble in certain meridians of the lens rubbing. And if you look at the lens, if you go around, uh, we're going to look at your first design here. And what you'll kind of notice, uh, if you look at the beach radial, and particularly pay attention to the landing zone around where that uh, downward sloping line hits the corneal green line here, right around the pink dot. And you'll see that each meridian is uh, kind of comes in what we call kind of a downturner between 12 and 3 o'clock, and even to 4, and then right around 6 o'clock it starts lifting up again. And so in this particular design, uh, with all... Uh, things being equal, this lens is going to have a tendency to want to push off on this superior um, nasal side of the lens and push downward toward the uh, inferior temporal. So in other words, around right around 2 o'clock, between 12 and 3, this lens will want to push off there and push down toward the uh, 8 o'clock position. And if you look at the overall topography, you'll notice that your cone is slightly descending down downward. So it kind of goes along with the fact that you want to go up in the center around the area. And that might be part of the reason why you're taking in some of the flare and glaring like that's because their habitual lens is also kind of eccentric a little bit. So keeping that in mind, it sounds like you made some uh, subtle changes on this uh, second design, which is uh, one way to approach that. But if you're still struggling, what I would um, recommend doing is uh, taking the easiest approach to just switching over to freeform. So if we, uh, if we look at a design here, I just took your same design, same parameters, I just clicked over to freeform, and just redesigned it, and now what you'll notice is all the uh, radials are pretty even right around the clock dial. In this particular case, I also added a little bit of F factor. Uh, the aspheric component in this uh, will sometimes help that lens kind of take a nice easy contour across the cornea, keeping a nice back surface uh, lens profile as seen in the lower left quadrant um, of the quad view. So if we go back over here, now you've got a lens, if you go to each radial, now you don't have any of those downturners and uplifting areas that you had in your original design. So I would anticipate this lens to sit more evenly around the cornea. Now you have to be a little bit careful because uh, some of these lenses can get a little bit snug if you don't have enough care exchange. So in this particular case, I would make sure I spend a little extra time lifting up that pink dot to try to uh, create some extra edge clearance around the edge there, make sure there's enough care pummeling around that lens. Uh, also, you could do the same design if you decide to take the aspheric component out. Uh, either way, I think you'll do fine if you look. Uh, you basically have evened out the basically the uh, the tear film 360 degrees around. And I think if you're having a lens that has a lot of flare, you really want to um, try to get these lenses centering well. And the best way to do that when uh, you have a, a second fit that's not quite performing to to your needs, I would probably go to the freeform design. So I hope you find that helpful. I wish you well this week. I would apply the same um, principles to that left eye. I wish you well and thank you for contacting Wave. Have a great day.